All right. Hey, um, we're in the book of Revelation, and I want to get right to this because this is the reason at this point why we have gathered together here this morning. We're going to look down chapter 4. We're going to look together at two verses, uh, verse number 10 and verse 11 here in this passage. And let me make sure that I'm turned on and everything needs to be the way that it is on the microphone, and it looks like it is. In just a minute, we'll look at this verse. Before we do, though, um, hey, are you anticipating, are you looking forward to all of the uh, political ads that you're going to see over the next nine months or six months or whatever it is? There's not enough time, is there? Um, I, I feel like probably over this last three and a half years, we have not gotten the break that we usually get from the political ads. It just seems like it's heaped one on top of the other. And part of that is because of everything that has happened in our nation with corona and uh, with, with ISIS and just different things that are going on. But I loathe, I loathe the time of every four years when you can't look at a billboard, you can't turn on the television and see a commercial, um, on the radio, everywhere is just political ad, political ad, political ad, and all of the posturing, you know what I mean by that? The posturing that goes on in politics of one person trying to present themselves in a certain way and the other person trying to present themselves in a certain way, and how much how much importance there is to the different people who are running for different um, offices in presenting themselves in a certain way, and they invite the help of other people to help present themselves in a certain way. When I was in high school, I went to hear the Vice President of the United States speak. Now, I'll date myself a little bit here, but at that time, the Vice President was Dan Quayle. And uh, Mr. Quayle was coming to speak.